Hi, I'm Josh Mason here with Ethan with Ford Social. We're here at the 2013 Chicago Auto Show. We've got Tanner Faust and Andreas. They're showing off the brand new Fiesta Global Rally Cross car. And so, what what was the biggest technical challenge as part of your design? Uh, the technical is, you know, it's a little car from the beginning, and they get, you know, to get 600 horsepower and four-wheel driven car and everything into the package of the Fiesta is they need a package as well. Um, other than that, is uh, it's uh, it's a lot of changes from the 12 car, but technical changes under the, the hood. But but uh, but the most distinct thing is the new front end and everything that looks like the Fiesta SD. And we try to build it so we can gain as much as possible from the from the new look uh, in terms of braking, cooling, and intercooler cooling and stuff like that. So so everything we do, we try to make a technical advantage uh, to make something better. And, or performance. Got any questions? Yeah, Tanner, what's your favorite thing about this car? Uh, my favorite thing about this car is the, just the acceleration. It's the the raw power, and I think when, when they're designing something like this, because it's so short wheelbase, it changes direction so quick. So it's easy to get addicted to how nimble it is, and when you're off the gas, though, you have maximum boost because of the anti-lag, and so as soon as you touch the throttle, the acceleration's immediate. So. How much faster do you think this is than last year's version? I don't know. I think the you know the car Andreas and OMSC built the car to the limit of the rules, and and the rules haven't changed much. So the car is going to be probably similar speed, but we can take advantage of like Andreas said with the the new design on the front end. In kind of traditional American style, as the sport comes here, the tracks are different, so the way that you would build a car is maybe a little different, and so Andreas has had to adapt to that when building this car. And so I, th I think the 13 iteration will fit more the U.S. type tracks. What's going through your head like when you're in the race? What are you actually thinking about? It looks like there's so much going on. I mean, what, what's going through your head? Nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm going to have to do laundry on Tuesday. The flight is probably going to be late with this weather. No, it's, um, it's very chaotic. And so it's an interesting thing because you have to, uh, when things are so chaotic, it's easy just to, to make them visceral and, and rely on natural instincts. Uh, but that's kind of bad in driving. So usually what I focus on are three or four points of the track that I know from practice and from qualifying that I've wanted to work on. And I focus on that brake release into this corner or a specific exit out of a specific corner and go down to the nuts and bolts of the track and that's usually uh, enough to stay focused. So when you start a design or a redesign, how much feedback do you get from Tanner when you're developing the car? Is it all the time or is it just, well, both positive and negative. Is it, is it throughout the process or is it you bring a finished product and you get the stamp of approval? No, 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 I, I, all my drivers have some kind of feedback. You know, I have, uh, I listen to everything they say during the season. Uh, because when the season starts, you can't change anything, you can only adjust what you have. So when you rebuild the car, you need to find what was good, what was bad, uh, what did we put too much you know, thought or, or problem solving into. Uh, it's really important that you start the season, that everyone feels fine, the car works well, the balance of the whole team is important. All right, well, that's all the time we have. I'd like to thank Tanner and Andreas and Ford Social for letting us come out and interview them.